everyone and welcome to Fit for Two TV, the internet's only show dedicated to health. I am Brock Picken and today I am going to tell you a story about how I gained 40 pounds in four days. That's right, you heard me right. 40, four zero pounds in just four days. So this story dates back to 2004. So it's an old story, but it's a good one. And it was for a radio contest called the Wheel of Gluttony. And basically you were given a week in which to gain weight. And whoever gains the most weight qualified for a spot on a wheel. And 42 people in total would qualify for a spot on a wheel to win a grand prize. So having been a competitive bodybuilder in the past, um, I used what I had done before to make a weight cutoff. So as an example, there are certain weight categories in bodybuilding and it's an advantage to go in at the top of your weight class. So if you know that you are maybe five or six or more pounds away, um, you can actually dehydrate yourself to drop a lot of weight in a very short amount of time to get into that, uh, that weight category. And then of course that weight all goes back on. So what happens in your body with respect to electrolytes and with specifically sodium and potassium, there's a, a gradient and everything needs to be in balance. So if you were to take in a lot of salt, and you may notice this yourself, if you eat something very salty, you end up getting thirsty and you bloat and you retain water. And essentially potassium does the opposite of that. So if you were to take in potassium, that helps with water retention. And so essentially what I did was for about a two day period, um, I basically dehydrated myself as much as I could. And I took in foods that were very rich in potassium and completely eliminated salt from my diet. And what ended up happening was I weighed in probably a close to about 15 pounds lighter than, than what my, my, my weight was at that time. So essentially I weighed in with a 15 pound advantage. Then I did the opposite of that. So over the course of the next, at that point it was roughly four days left to the, the final weigh in. I did everything I could to slow my metabolism down, which was really key. Uh, so essentially I was doing the exact opposite of what uh, what I would normally do, what I would teach my clients. So things that slow your metabolism down are uh, not sleeping very much. So I was sleeping very little at night. I was eating large meals right before going to bed. And I was eating very high fatty foods, um, very high sugar foods, because you want to be able to, if you're aiming to be healthy, keep your hormones in check, especially with respect to insulin, keeping your insulin steady. So what I was doing was taking in very high sugary foods, which was, would result in insulin spikes and then crashes, at which point your body takes all of that sugar and starts to store it as fat. So essentially I was doing the exact opposite of what I was, was teaching people, um, but the real key was that I was taking in uh, a lot of salt. I was eating a lot of fast food. I went to McDonald's probably every day. Um, I was eating white bagels with a lot of cream cheese. Um, I was eating ice cream late at night, right before bed. Um, a lot of those types of foods. Um, I wasn't working out. That was, uh, that was really important to not burn any calories, to try and retain as much as I could and store as much as I could. And as well, it kind of worked out by fluke that this was done over the weekend of Thanksgiving. So I really took advantage of the fact that I was at a family Thanksgiving dinner and made sure that I ate uh, many extra pieces of pie at dessert, uh, really ate to the point where I was almost physically sick. Um, it was sort of a mind over matter uh, thing at that point to try and do everything I could in my power to, to gain weight. Here's the key. The morning of the weigh-in, as I was driving down to the radio station, again, going based on the fact that your body works on that sodium potassium pump, I was taking in as much salt as I could and I was drinking a lot of water. So I literally had a case of water on the car seat beside me and I had a box of salt. And so I was literally pouring salt into my mouth 
and then downing it with a bottle of water. And I consumed close to an entire box of salt uh, over the course of about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And so when I ended up weighing in, the result was the difference of about 40 pounds. So I had actually gained 40 pounds in four days by the time I had dehydrated myself and weighed in from that point to the next weigh in was a four day period. So that gave me a spot on a wheel with 41 other people. So at that point I hadn't won anything, I just qualified. So people thought I was completely crazy for totally destroying my body over the course of a week just for a chance to win this radio contest. And so we were assigned a number on the wheel and I was assigned uh, number 33, which is fantastic because that's my lucky number. When they spun the wheel, it landed on number three. So I didn't win, but the person who was number three was not there. And the rules were you had to be in the studio in order to win. So they spun it again and it landed on number 33, which meant that I won 10 grand and two cars. And that essentially launched the start of my personal training business. And I sold the sports car because I'm just not a Mazda Miata kind of guy. That is my story on how I gained 40 pounds in four days. Feedback question for you is, what is the worst thing you have ever put your body through and was it worth it? From Brock and Marta, thank you for watching Fit for Two TV, the internet's only show dedicated to health.